so today i'm going to be showing you how i make african salad which is also known as abacha and i'm showing you the fried style so i have my ingredients ready this is the abacha already soaked and softened this is maggi and then over here i have my sliced onions i have my ehuru already roasted and blended and this is the crayfish i'll be using over here i have the yellow pepper and soca pepper and over here this is the okburu dried shrimps and finally i have my palm oil oh no no and then um i also have the salt over here so that was not final okay here my wok is already on the fire and then i pour in my red oil and let it heat up just a little bit after which i add my onions yeah I love onions i tried not to add too much this time but i love onions a lot so i'm just stirring it in and then after stirring i'm going to let it fry for just a little while to bring out the best of the flavor and also to get a little bit translucent and then i'm going to introduce my ihuru i roasted this ihuru when you roast it it brings out it gives it a different flavor it brings out the best of the flavor so i'm just stirring it all in I'm just going to fry it for a little bit and then I introduce my pepper. Yeah. So, this pepper is really, really hot. So, just add the quantity. You, you know the hotness of your pepper, Sha. Just add enough so that it will be the quantity as hot as you can stand, do. So, I'm just stirring it all in and then I added salt. Yeah that's not a lot of salt so don't be deceived by the time i add the abacha everything will just blend in okay so next i added my maggi my ma why do we all call it maggi it's actually no this is actually no but we call it maggi so i started to stay it all in now nah, eh, this voiceover thing is not easy at all it's not easy okay so after stirring it in i brought my crayfish and then i poured it in i didn't add everything sha i didn't put everything so i'm going to consistently mix it in like i am doing like so mix your own too okay so <laughs> okay so what next okay yeah i'm going to add my okboru next i'm going to pour in the okboru I don't really like this thing, Sha. I just added it for the sake of adding it. I, I just added it now so that it will get a little bit soft because this one was really dry. So this is me stirring it as usual, after which I will bring my abacha. Now this abacha, mm, some people soak it with hot water, but I don't like soaking with hot water because it will get too soft. So I used cold water to soak it. Now I've added the abacha into the fried mixture and i am now trying to stir it all in i didn't add all the abacha at once i just added a little and then i added more afterwards so i've stirred it off camera and this is me stirring it the more i think after this stage i added a little bit more abacha yeah to because the oil was still looking like it was a lot so i had to add a bit more abacha to even everything out so this food is quite easy to make it's my sister-in-law that taught me this style i'm used to the uh, the one they do with incha my sister-in-law taught me this one and then i tried it and i loved it so i'm teaching you so this is it served i i served it with with um, peppered gizzard you can use dried fish you can add uziza no no utaze not uziza you can add utaze but i decided to serve mine this way plain so so that's it guys try this and then let me know how far i hope you enjoyed watching um if you haven't subscribed to my channel please help me do so just tap on the subscribe button and then also turn on the notification so that when i post new videos you'll be notified thank you and god bless you bye